How's it going everybody? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number one in my uh, Lambda Expressions in Java 8 tutorial series. So, if you're here, I'm guessing you, uh, you've, well, you know that there are Lambda Expressions in Java 8. Up until this point, one major feature Java has been lacking is the use of Lambda Expressions. And Java 8, which came out in March, I believe, of this year, um, finally has incorporated them. So, in this tutorial series, I am assuming you do know some Java. Um, if you don't, I've started an introduction to Java series on my channel, which I will be adding more videos to uh, for a while now anyways. Still have a bunch of tutorials planned for that. So you can go there if you don't know a lot about Java, but assuming you do know Java, we are just going to go over some Lambda expressions in this series. So we're going to do, pretty much every video is going to be me doing comparisons, so how you would write something using Java 7 and Java 6, and then um, how you can write that using Lambda expressions in uh, Java 8. So, first things first, in this video, we're just going to kind of do the setup, make sure you're prepared, um, make sure you have Java 8 installed, and yeah, that's all this video is going to be. So, for this tutorial series, I am going to be using Eclipse. Um, you can use jcreator, I've used that one with Java 8 before, NetBeans I haven't tried with Java 8 yet. Um, but I'm sure it's fine. You can use Dr. Java. There's a lot of uh, different IDEs you can use. Now, first things first, installing Java 8. So, I am using Windows for this tutorial. In my introduction to Java 8 series, I am using Linux. So, the reason why I am uh, using Windows for this tutorial series is because I already have a newer version of Eclipse installed. On uh, my introduction to Java series, I have version 3.8 of Eclipse, which doesn't support Java 8. So, first things first, though, before we get to Eclipse, is going to be installing Java 8. So, all you got to do is type in Java 8 download, Google that, and here. Here are the development kits for it. Now, you got to accept the license agreement before you can click on the download links. For Mac, just download the DMG file. For Windows, download the EXE file. Um, if you have a newer computer, I would recommend using the 64-bit uh, version. So, you can save the file. Uh, I guess I'll do that. I guess it'll depend how quickly it downloads. All right. Well, while that's downloading, we'll go over to Eclipse. So, Eclipse, Google that. downloads a couple links down the clip project downloads page and here you go so the version I'm using is I believe I'll check but uh, no I'm, I'm almost positive it's 4.3.2 I'm using Kepler anyway um, so we're gonna start by downloading this And now I'll click Eclipse SDK. Uh, Windows, you can download um, it for Linux as well and for Mac. So we're going to download the Linux version by clicking on this download link here. Um, I'm going to go with the top version because even though it doesn't say it, I'm pretty sure that's the 64 bit version. And then click on the download mirror for it. And I'm gonna save it. Start its download too. Alright. So now we've got everything downloading. We're gonna go back over to Java 8 now. I'm gonna click on yes. Now I already have Java 8 installed so I'm not gonna go through the complete installation. But I will get you on your way. All 
Alright, so next, next. Mm. Oh, I thought there was one more step, but I guess not. So I guess I am installing it right now. Alright. Alright, this is where you choose where to install it to and click next, and it will start the installation. I'm assuming if you're into programming, you're able to install a file, so I'm not going to go any further than that. So yes, I'm going to cancel the installation. How you know if you've done it right, open up your command line or PowerShell and type in java-version and you want to see this here. So we downloaded version 1.8 uh, update 5. So that's what you want to see. That's how you know you have Java 8 downloaded. So we've got that done correctly. Um, and if you're using if you're new, using the newest versions of Eclipse, it will be compatible with Java 8. But if you're using Kepler, um, I'm just going to type in a kick Eclipse Kepler Java 8. This is the page you want to go to. I'm not going to go through this because the video is getting a little long already. But it gives you step by step easy instructions on how to make it compatible with Java 8. There's 10 instructions, most of them just clicking next or finish, so it is very simple. And yes, I was right, 4.3.2. So that's the version I'm using, Kepler. So that's the version I told you to download because that's the version I'm using. There are newer ones, but I would recommend using Kepler. So one thing to also mention when you download Eclipse you get a file so I'll show you what I mean if it's already downloaded okay it has downloaded show in folder I'm gonna extract it using 7-zip and extract it here should hopefully be very quick alright there we go so this is Eclipse here. You get a folder with the program in it. All I did, I dragged it to my C drive. I believe I put it, yeah, I put it in uh, the 32-bit uh, program files folder. Put it in there, and then from there, I just right-clicked and then created a shortcut for my desktop. And that's how I got uh, my uh, Eclipse uh, shortcut there. So anyway. Now to actually open Eclipse. Make sure you have gone over the um, instructions on how to update Eclipse so it works with Java 8. And now we're going to jump in to creating our project at least by clicking New, Java Project and you want to make sure where it says use an execution environment JRE make sure it's Java SE 1.8 that is selected so for this one I'm just going to call this project Lambda Expressions this is where I'm going to save all the files for all the tutorials and I will upload that to my website codingbasics.ca so you guys can download any of the files if you uh, want to check to see where your errors are coming from or something so we got the file created or the project created and why aren't you doing anything I'm not sure if I hit finish there or not if I did it accidentally my bad so it did create the file, so what is happening? Come on. There, okay. So you gotta turn on the Java perspective, that's the only thing. Normally it does that automatically, so that is very weird that it didn't. So my windows are really acting up now for some reason. So I'm just opening up everything now. Okay, there we go. And to create a new file, I'm just going to create or 
right click on source new class give it a name for this one I'm calling filtering because that's gonna be the first tutorial we do and I am gonna check off um, create the public main method click finish and this is our first Java 8 file that we will be working in in the next tutorial. So, thank you guys for watching. Comment on the video, like it, and subscribe. Oh, and before I forget, for um, if you're on Linux for installing Java 8, this is the way you want to uh, do it. A lot simpler. It's a uh, open source Java 8 um, from the webbed up team so type these lines in in this order pause the video right now and do that in your terminal that's how you install Java 8 so thank you guys for watching once again you already know what to do and I will see you in the next video